Hi there, so it's Friday and it's time for another Unraid tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to connect Vert Manager to our Unraid server to help with VM management. Having nice features and a good GUI makes it an excellent companion for Unraid's own VM manager. Cracky. So, when Unraid has got an excellent virtual machine manager built into the GUI, why would you ever want to use Virt Manager to help you manage your virtual machines? Well, one reason for me is if you take a look at these two virtual machines at the top here, they're both OSX virtual machines. And if you've seen some of my previous tutorials or you've set up an OSX virtual machine yourself, you know that you need custom edits to make it work. So if we view the XML of this virtual machine here, you'll see there's various custom edits that need to be put in to make the VM work. So if we were to go to the Unraid VM manager and try to edit this virtual machine with the custom edits in, for example, if I wanted to change the graphics adapter from VNC to an NVIDIA graphics card, I would click on update and everything looks great. But if I actually go back to my XML, and scroll down to the bottom, all my custom edits have gone. And so this virtual machine will not work. So normally the only way to add things to custom edited XMLs is to manually put them in the XML file. And so the nice thing about Vert Manager is you can actually use a GUI to edit your virtual machines and it doesn't affect any custom edits you may have already put in the virtual machine XML file. So let's see Vert Manager add the same graphics card to that second OSX template we've got there. OK, so as Vert Manager runs on Linux, I've got a Fedora virtual machine running on my MacBook Pro, which we'll use to connect to the Unraid server. So if I start up the VM Manager here, this here is my Unraid server on this IP address. So I just double click on this and all my Unraid VMs come up in the list. So this one here, I'm going to open that one. And if the guest was running, VNC would run within here. So if I click onto this icon here to show the hardware details, this can show me all the hardware details about the VM. Um, you can change CPU allocation. And another nice thing that you can do with Vert Manager is you can actually change the CPU type very easily. So if I wanted to add a graphics card to the OSX machine, first I can just remove the VNC display very easily. Just click on remove and also remove the QXL video adapter and now if I click on to add hardware I would choose a PCI host device and then here's a list of all the devices in my Unraid server and there's my GTX 750 Ti which I want to assign to the OSX VM so I just have that highlighted and click finish and then click yes and now you can see here the GTX 750 Ti is added into the hardware I also want to add the sound from it, so I do exactly the same. Go back to PCI host device and try and find the card again. And under here, underneath the GTX 750 Ti on the 5001, this is the sound for that graphics card. So now that's added, if I close this off and close this off here, and just bring back up our Unraid screen, and if I bring up the Unraid GUI again, this is the virtual machine we just edited in Vert Manager. If I look at the XML, you'll see that all the custom edits have been left as they are. And if you look here, it's put in the host dev tags to assign my graphics card. We can also see this reflected in the Unraid GUI. Let's click edit and have a look at the graphics card. If we scroll down, you'll see there that the graphics card has been assigned in. But let's make sure we don't press update, otherwise our edits will be erased. So that's one of the reasons why I use Vert Manager alongside the Unraid Virtual Machine Manager. But there are other reasons to use it as well. If you use the virtual disk format of QCOW2, you can actually have snapshots and manage snapshots of your VMs. Unfortunately, there's not time in this video to go into detail about that kind of thing. But if anyone wants to see a more detailed video about that kind of thing, then please say so in the comments below. But for now, let's just concentrate on getting Vert Manager working in conjunction with Unraid. So guys, you are going to need a Linux platform in order to run Vert Manager. Um, I'd suggest using Fedora as it has the most up-to-date Vert Manager, which is currently 1.40. And you could just set up an Unraid virtual machine for this purpose. 
OK, to get Vert Manager working, it's really simple. But there's just a couple of things we need to do on our Unraid server first. Um, firstly, we're going to have to install the Nerd Tools pack. So just go to your community applications and search for Nerd. And install this plugin here. OK, so we need to now go to Nerd Tools and we're looking for a package called NC 1.10. So that's the one there and we just click that onto on and click apply and then when that's done click done okay guys so the next thing we're going to have to do is just a quick edit of a file on the server so we need to make a telnet or an SSH connection and we just type sudo nano then forward slash etc forward slash libvert forward slash libvert d dot c o n f and now if we scroll down slightly and we're looking for this line here where it says listen address equals 127.0.0.1 now we need to change this here to 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. Okay, so we just write this file out and exit that. And now we can close this window here. And it's best just to stop and start the array, just so it restarts the vert manager. Okay, so that's everything prepared on the Unraid server. So now we just need to switch to our Linux system. And to install Vert Manager, we just open a terminal window. And on Fedora, you would type sudo yum install vert hyphen manager. But it's already installed here for me, so when I press enter, it's just going to tell me there's nothing to do. But for you, it would download all the packages you need to make this run. So once you've installed Vert Manager, just um, go to your program files and you should see it there just open it up and now what you have to do is make a connection to the server so click on file then add connection and tick this box here connect to remote host and the method we want to choose as TCP and put in the username root and then the IP address of your server and then click on connect okay guys but before we go any further let's just go back to here because i just want to show you an error that you can get if you've incorrectly edited the file on the unraid server it will say it's unable to connect to libvert and to check that the service is actually running you can also get this if you haven't restarted the array after making the edit so please make sure you restart the array if you get this message Anyway, once everything's correct, you should see a list of all the VMs that are running on your Unraid server. Should you see a blue icon like that, it means that that VM's running. And if you were to click on to open, it will open a virtual machine. And if you have VNC running, it will show you the screen of the virtual machine. Um, if you click on the light bulb icon, it shows you all the hardware running in the machine. You can look at your memory, um, display type, etc. And if you look at a virtual machine that isn't running and you click open and then go to that same tab, you can actually add hardware and change the hardware options. I suggest you have a good look through this. Um, there's a lot you can do and I find it really useful myself. So that's how you get Vert Manager running on your Unraid server. And I hope you guys find it as useful as I do. If you like this video guys then please do me a favour and hit that like button and if you want to see more videos from me in the future then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Whatever you're up to guys for the rest of the day I hope it's good and I'll catch you all in the next video.